we don't know what's coming to tomorrow. Maybe it's trouble and sorrow, but we'll travel the road, sharing the load, side by side. Well, I, I remember uh, we used to get have great fun in the office, which was right above the studio. And when we just all ran down the last moment to sign on the program. And uh, this one morning we were fooling around and laughing and, and somebody came running up the stairs and said, you got to get in the studio. And we said, why? Well, he said, you're five minutes late and Miss Lois from Romper Room is now doing your show. <laughs> down the stairs and, and we slid live, I actually like a cartoon, like literally slid into the host's chair. We went up to Scotland to Sir Fitzroy Maclean's home on Loch Fine. Now he was the president of the Clan Maclean and there's pictures of the wall that look very much like my sister and my aunts and uncles. And uh, they had lunch for us, a bottle of scotch in front of every person at the table. And we partook a bit of the scotch. So anyway, we get into the library, and Steve and my cameraman are over here right beside the fireplace. And I'm over here with Sir Fitzroy McLean, and we're talking away. And I look over to get my out cue from Steve, and here's your father. <laughs> Sound asleep. My producer has just passed out on the middle of a television show. I never saw him get angry. I never saw him get angry, and I never, I don't think ever heard him say a bad derogatory thing about anyone, no matter if they were the biggest jerk uh, on, the, on the floor or, or, or in the studio that you'd ever seen. He always treated his religion, and I learned from that too as, as a very important part of his life. And um, it got me to go back to the Vi Church and uh, taught me to uh, appreciate more the values of the Christian church. Congratulations, Steve. 75 years. My God, and we can't have a drink anymore. Maybe we'll have a noble teen. Happy birthday.